Hello, today we are visiting um, an off-grid system uh, that is uh, powering uh, a property in the UK. The system is a single phase uh, at a 16 kilowatt. Well, there are two 8 kilowatt inverters connected in parallel and they feed all the energy to the house. Well, they don't feed any energy back to the grid. Uh, of course, there is a utility uh, connected as a backup. If you don't have a utility, you can connect a generator. Uh, but the system is uh, fully protected if there is any issue with the weather or with the batteries. Um, it is important to notice here that off-grid systems uh, don't require any uh, legal paperwork. You don't have to notify your uh, operator of the network that you have an off-grid system. It is completely uh, legal uh, to generate your own electricity and to feed it to your appliances. Uh, we need to uh, also make clear that off-grid systems cannot feed the energy backward. They cannot feed the energy back to the generator or to the utility. So what we have today, we have our Conversal Max, 8 kilowatt, two units connected in parallel. Very rarely we reach the 8 kilowatt uh, uh, output because it's a, it's a normal uh, family property. Uh, but why we decided to have two units? We have two units for redundancy. If one unit is going to fail, we always have a second one as a backup. Uh, the other nice thing about two inverters is that you share the load. If you run uh, 4 kilowatts or 8 kilowatts, the load is shared between the two inverters 50-50. 8 kilowatt means this inverter is going to supply 4 and the other inverter another 4. Uh, the other part of the system major part our lithium ion batteries and this setup has two cabinets connected in parallel with the us 3000 c batteries eight batteries connected in parallel the total capacity is 28 kilowatt hours enough to run this property for a whole day without any compromises you can heat up your water you can cook your meals you can keep your lights on all the day there is plenty of power in this energy storage of course, there are other alternatives like the US 5000C that offers more energy storage in a smaller space. Um, the next part of the system is our uh, DC Link uh, bus bar. This is from uh, Victron Energy. We have uh, the links power in. Uh, that's a reference point for all our 48 volt um, uh, power supplies. The batteries are terminated on the DC Link bus bar. The 48 volt connection from both inverters are connected back to the DC Link bus bar. We decided to use 70 square mil cables uh, for this setup because the, the current, the DC current, can reach up to 150 160 amp per inverter if you run at full speed. The AC input to the inverter comes from the grid with uh, uh, 6 square mil cables, the same on the other inverter. They share the same utility supply, but as I explained earlier, it is only for backup. The AC output, as the cable, again, 6 square mil cable on both sides, feeding our uh, new distribution board. In this distribution board, we have two parts. The upper level, there are three solar PV strings with eight panels on each string. The total power for this specific installation is 9.6 kilowatts. At the bottom, we have uh, the output, as we said, from each inverter, there is one MCB. And that's our changeover switch, quite, quite useful gadget. I always recommend my customers to have a changeover switch because if something is going to go wrong, if your inverters will fail, if there is a maintenance work, all you have to do is to switch this uh, changeover device back to the grid and you bypass the whole solar installation and you're back to the mains of course you don't use solar uh, at all so it's only for emergency we don't uh, touch the switch unless there is a very very specific reason the installation is fully protected and easy to isolate individual parts like the ac input or the ac output from its inverter we have two uh, switches from Krause and Neimer on its inverter. The cabinets are made of metal. They are properly insulated and earthed. Looking 
here we have four MPPT inputs in total, completely independent, but we use only three due to space. We have a spare one, but there are three quite powerful uh, uh, solar chargers with a maximum capacity per charger, four kilowatt. It is important to set it up using uh, an experienced uh, engineer. It's not a simple DIY job. You have to earth the system properly. It is important to use the right cables for uh, the installation. Uh, the BMS communication is extremely important when you have uh, lithium ion batteries, otherwise the system is gonna fail and the batteries will not charge uh, according to the standards. So, more or less, uh, we covered the operation of the system. You can have a closer look on the screens here. Right now, the system is in battery mode. All the energy comes from the batteries. The AC is connected to the inverter, but is not feeding any energy. You can see it's just here as a backup. The same happens on the inverter too. No connection to the grid. The backup is there for emergency. All the power comes from the inverter. It's a nice screen. It's a touch screen with five colors. There is an integrated Wi-Fi on each inverter. You need to pair each inverter individually to your uh, uh, account and you can monitor from your mobile phone or uh, from an internet uh, browser. If you have any questions, you can contact uh, Voltacon and uh, thank you very much for watching this video.